1980, or 1979, my, pr my professor in biology said, you know, Winifred, you have all these data you're collecting of college women's menstrual patterns. Why don't you take a look at what's been shown on the moon? Is there any relationship between the moon and menses? And nobody had ever found it. Arrhenius in 1898, who won the Nobel Prize then for doing something with a kite and electricity in the sky, had published in German that um, he looked for it, he expected to find it and couldn't. And I thought about it and said, well, he didn't find it because he didn't look the right way. If a woman has a cycle that's, here, here's some, I, this is a circle, and I looked up on a, a uh, this is engineering paper, and I looked up uh, in an almanac at the time, when is the full moon in that year? And that's the, the circle at the top, and when is the new moon at the bottom, and the first quarter and the third, see, it would be first quarter and third quarter, and got all the dates filled in. And I started figuring, I have all these data, how am I going to plot them on a graph like this? And if nothing's going on, they should distribute each women's menstrual cycle. If we did one cycle per woman, they'd be just as many on one half of the month as the other. And that wasn't true of the women who cycled as often as the moon. There was about twice as many women cycling in the menstruating in the light half of the month than the dark half. Then we looked at the, look at the next graph, said, but what about if you plotted everybody and all their cycles? You see nothing like Arrhenius saw. Because a woman who has a cycle, say, of 40 days, if she got her first period here, her next one's here, her next one's here, because this is a 29 and a half day cycle. So 40 days, I don't know if, if, that, if you follow that, but you can read about it if you're interested in it. What's more interesting is the other one. The, a professor of biology, he asked me, do you have any other data, because you didn't do it, you didn't plot it very sensibly, and there's a much better way to analyze these data. So seven years later, we published this study which looked at about six different years of women's menstrual data and said, what is the pattern? This first one was the fall of 1976, those women who had the 29 and a half day cycle. And you see the, the average number, it's a moving average of uh, women at the full moon, that's the circle at the center that's a hole, whereas the black is the new moon. And you see this pattern that keeps repeating in every group, lots of different groups, if you go down. Um, this was a colleague at Brooklyn who, Erica Friedman, did a study of her college students and found the same pattern. Let's go down further. This is another year, and it didn't matter. This is spring of 1983. And what we found was fertile women tend to menstruate in the full moon period of the, of the cycle, and they tend to be ovulating in the new moon. It's the end of that.